Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a fabric haul and showing you things that I picked up from the Stitch Festival. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me, I just had um, impress aligners put on my teeth and it's only my second day with them on so I'm lisping. We're here, we're going to continue with the video but I just wanted to do a little disclaimer. If you're wondering why I sound different, <laughs> that's why. So anyway, we're going to go straight on into it and I'm going to show you all of the amazing goodies that I picked up from the Stitch Festival as well as a couple of other little bits as well that I've just been sent in the post. So before I get into it, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. <music> The sun is also coming out to say hello today, which is nice. <laughs> so I have a, a big bag of stuff here and I had a budget in mind when I went to the Stitch Festival. I was like, I'm not gonna spend that much money. I'm going to like see, meet people and blah, blah, blah. And that just goes out the window because there's so many nice brands and nice like things to be had. So <laughs> I got quite a bit. But the first thing I thought I would show you is actually something that just got delivered in the post. And this is from Rainbow Fabrics and it's this really gorgeous like cotton fabric. I'll show you like a close up to the camera. It's got this like really beautiful texture. Um, I can't remember the fabric name, I think it was a cotton, but the texture in it almost looks like a gingham texture, like little squares. Um, and this is new on their website so I will link it below if they have any of this left. Um, I just thought this would be a really gorgeous like colour for um, spring summer clothing and nice and lightweight as well. So let's dive in to my Stitch Festival goodies. Let's stick with Rainbow Fabrics because they had a stand there and I mean I just love the brand. You guys know I feature a lot of Rainbow Fabrics. They have like a lot of dead stock and, and stuff like that so I just really like the quality and sometimes they do like collection drops and stuff and um, they're like one-off pieces and all that kind of thing so it's really exciting. Um, one of the path one of the fabrics that I got was this really gorgeous viscose. How cool is this? Um, I just envision like a matching top and shorts with this fabric. I think I might even make the Friday Pattern Company saguaro set, but make the pants as shorts instead. Um, and it would just be so cool for a holiday. And I got this. Um, I got two meters of this one, so plenty to make me like a small top and and shorts if I'm careful with with cutting out. So many leaflets as well because I, if even when I didn't buy from a brand, I was like picking up leaflets so I could go away and like follow people on Instagram later on. Next fabric I got is from Sewing Sanctuary. Anyone that I mention will be in the description box below. And this is a wax fabric that's like waterproof, and this is perfect for making little jackets, um, whatever you want. Really, you can make bags from it, and story time i brought some last year for willow i'll put a picture of what i made with a fabric that i bought last year from them and i just loved it so much and it was so special to be able to make willow something yeah it was just really really nice to be able to make her a little raincoat so i saw the, that they were there again this year and i've now decided it's going to be a yearly tradition <laughs> to buy some of their wax fabrics and to make willow an updated raincoat because just little ones just grow out of things so quickly. Um, but the pattern that I used was the Waves and Wild, Waves and Wild Woodland Wonder Coat, and it's so easy and it comes together so quickly um, that it might seem intimidating to make jackets, but honestly, it's really, really easy to make. So I'm gonna make it in this, and it's so beautiful. I'll link this below because they have it on their website, so you can go and get it from there. And it's nine pounds per half a meter which is great as well because if you are making things for little ones you don't often need to buy things in meter bulk you can buy it like a meter, a meter and a half um, and I think I got 1.3 because that was all that was left on the um, not the roll but the the thing, the cardboard thing <laughs> next up you guys ah! I bought so many remnants from Higgs and Higgs <laughs> So they had this last year and they had it again this year. Higgs and Higgs had a stand downstairs as you walked into the entrance. But they also had this like, what I kept calling the bargain bin section, <laughs> um, which was these like big uh, metal baskets filled with these like little baggies of remnant fabric. So, um, so I got this really gorgeous sky blue colored 
jersey fabric, so a nice knit fabric, really good. I could use it for linings. I could even use it to line Willow's little coat, actually. And it's eight pounds for 150 centimeters by 100 centimeters. So it's like, honestly, such a bargain. Um, and then I got this gorgeous cotton remnant, 150 by 100 for seven pounds. And it's really cute, like cherries, flowers, butterflies. Um, I just thought this kind of fabric is really good when I need to make a wearable toile of a pattern that I haven't made before. And obviously where sewing is my job, I always need twirling fabric. So I just thought for seven pounds, um, that would be great for being able to like mock up patterns and things. Next thing I got was this really gorgeous jersey remnant, 145 by 100, it was 11 pounds, but look at the quality of this. Little sunshines and little rainbows and I just want to make me and Willow some matching pyjamas. I don't know if I'll quite get a top and back pants for myself out of 145 centimetres, but I know I could definitely cut out matching shorts um, and make her some pyjamas as well. So yeah, really, really, really cute. And I think I might make the um, the pattern in the Tilly Buttons uh, book, the Make It Simple book, the pyjamas in there. Um, if you didn't already know, it's me me and Samantha from the Purple Sewing Cloud as the models in that book for the pyjama pattern that I'm talking about. I just can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Um, next little remnant is 150 by 50 centimetres, so a little bit of a smaller piece, but it was £4 and it's just this really cute navy cotton with like green little flowers on it. And again, I just had Willow in mind when I was shopping and I think a lot of mums will be able to relate to this. <laughs> you end up shopping for your child even though you're at an event that's for you. I was at a sewing event but I still just shopped for Willow basically. Um, but I have so many kids patterns that I wanna make this year. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in seeing me make children's patterns over on this channel because, well, <laughs> hello sunshine. Um, obviously I know it's a step away from doing adult sew-alongs but I don't just want to make them and then share them on Instagram or something and then I could have made a whole video on here about them. So let me know if that's something of interest. Um, and then last remnant that I got was this 140 by 100 centimetres for £9 double gauze fabric again with Willow in mind but it is so pretty. I would have, I would wear little rainbows for myself but when I looked at that I just thought that's, that's going to be a, a Willow garment I think. So next thing that I got big baggie of goodies <laughs> um so this was from bombay wait, wait wait yeah bombay stores and it was a whole thing of they had every single color you could imagine of moon threads everyone pretty much knows what a moon thread is but if you don't it's this brand of threads they're cheap and cheerful they're great threads to have in your stash um you can't always afford go to men for every single project in my opinion but I like to have a variety of colours of threads and these are all good, these are like good all-rounders basically. And last but not least, da -da -da -da, I got this fabric from Jenny Stitches and I could not help but get some of this. I saw it on the first day and I went back the second day to go get it because I just had gingham on my mind. It's a sage green gingham but it's just the perfect shade for a project that I've seen on Pinterest. I love the idea of matching sets this summer, as I've mentioned a couple of times now, but in a sage green gingham cotton, I just thought it would be so cute. Um, if it doesn't become a matching set, it will probably become a pair of trousers. I do have a pair of trousers in green gingham already that are ready to wear, but they're a little bit snug, and um, maybe it's time that I make my own. So yeah, I got that, and I'm very pleased. Can't remember how much that was per metre, but I... Oh, wait, yes I do. It was nine pounds. A meter. Um, and then lastly, um, I lied, this is the last thing, I got the Pilot uh, Frixian ball pen and this is the pen that um, erases when you put heat on it so really good for making marking like darts and things on your project so that was four pounds. You guys I forgot to mention I got these little scissors these are from Wimperous Embroidery so yeah super cute i'll make sure to put them linked in the description box <laughs> so yeah that is it i hope you enjoyed seeing everything that i got from the stitch festival oh my god it was just the best time ever if you haven't been before i know it's quite a way to get to for lo in london for some people but if you can get your get your way there next year um i highly recommend it it's, there was just such a good atmosphere and vibe from everybody 
all of the like indie brands up the top um the lovely narissa from untitled and the bargello edit um had a selection of her brands there um as well as like loads of other people loads of other stockists pattern brands fabric brands crafters it was just such a beautiful place to have everyone under one roof that really enjoyed the same thing as you and um i just thoroughly enjoyed myself it was really really good and for anyone that's watching this that um stopped to say hello to me and said that they watch my videos and then um, they follow me on instagram like i cannot tell you how <laughs> how surreal that was but also how lovely that was to hear and see you in the flesh so thank you so much um yeah get yourself to the stitch festival next year if you um if you have never been and i hope you enjoyed seeing some of the things that i'm going to be using in the next sort of few months or beyond uh, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you haven't already please subscribe and give this video a little thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye!